They'll be calling you a radical. I came for you. I came for you. Before I go on this rant, this is my flyer for my walk. I want to say a few things before I go off on this because this is going to piss a lot of people off. A lot of people off. Good. Good. I hope it pisses everybody the fuck off. You think I'm a fucker? You want to try to make me a fucking fool out of me? Good fucking luck to you. First, to the voters of Vermont, to the activists of Vermont who got out popular opinion, to the legislatures who proved that political process and the Constitution and the original ideas of Hamilton, Jefferson, Washington still exist in this country. One place, Vermont. Oh, do I love you. Oh, do I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you to the people of Vermont so much. You give me so much hope. The political process can work. There are still rational, logical thinking human beings in this country. It's the only place. To all of you, before I go on this fucking rant, I want to say this. I do this out of pure love. I love all of you. I love you more than you will ever know. To, and I know as I go off on this, and I'm going to go off intensely, I did an interview with some mainstream media finally. They've been coming to me, well, one of them, and this has been going on for a long time, and I refuse to Skype. I says, I am not fucking Skyping. You want to put me in a fucking studio, I want to do it fucking live. And you're not going to crop my fucking message, and you're not going to change it. You know, this has been going far that, so anyway, today, holy fuck. I've never been so fucking intense in my fucking life. I can't believe. Wow, is all I can fucking say. I hope that to you people that taped it today, I hope you have the fucking balls to fucking air it. I never crossed any fucking lines fucking legally. When I go off on this, I want to understand to the young activists and everybody in this movement, my post-ignorance movement, I want people to know this. Know this. This movement is done legally. We do not break the fucking law. We don't have to break the fucking law. This fucking movement is done in hardcore deep. Not hyperbole, not spinning out. I watched a fucking 10 minute video. I'm an expert fucking go off. These are people that have been in this fucking, in the new way, in the new way, fighting it in detail, digging in and fighting against the fucking machine. Now to you activists, now there's plenty of cow gob. Carol Gallagher's out there, who never quit fighting. Who ne I know, when I go off on the old fucking activist movement, I'm going off even on myself. We need to fucking realize we fucking failed. We fucking failed. And people say, oh, there's these fuckers fucking kill me. I go to rallies, I talk to these fucks, and they want to talk about 1972. Not, look what we did in 1970. That was 40 fucking years ago, fucker. We haven't won anything. We fucking lost. Wake up. We fucking lost. What are you going to realize? The environmental movement, we lost. Change fucking tactics. I woke up in 1999. I was on Wall Street. Made $800,000 that fucking year in my bonus. What woke me up? I'll tell you what woke me up. I never quit fighting it, but I'm like the rest of you. I got as much blame as the rest of you on me. But in 99... I watched two horrific, horrific, very loving people that I was really in love with in my life die from leukemia. I watched it. It fucking rocked my fucking world so fucking hardcore. And that's when I realized that we had lost this fucking movement. How did we lose? In 1982, I will say this. We had everything on our side. Everything. We had popular opinion on our side. We had the so-called beautiful people on our side. And I want to say this to the Jackson Browns, the fucking, all of these fucking people, every one of you fucking so-called fucking musicians, artists, writers, playwrights that fucking stood up. Fuck every last fucking one of you fuckers. Because what you did, you stand up now and say, oh, look what we did in 72. I, what do you do now? Count your fucking monies all you've done for 30 fucking years. Fuck every fucking last fucking one of you. You fuckers quit fighting. You fell for the money. You didn't, and I'll tell you what they did. 
How did we lose? How did we lose? Fucking 85 percent popular opinion. Millions and millions. Of, the protest that I attended in 1982 at our university, 3,500 students, 14,000 protests. It was intense. Me and my, the girl that I was involved with at the time, you know, well, I was married to at the time. I mean, the wow, 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 wow. How powerful was it? What happened? As I have, this has been circulating around somehow. Oh, fuck, by our activism and our fight, they only build 104 when Nixon said they want 1,000. Bull fucking shit. I could prove there's well over more 1,000s. Here's what they did. They changed tactics just like they did economically. We build up all these labor laws, these environmental protection laws. How did they backdoor us? Oh, NAFTA, they just fucking shit, backdoored us to fucking China. Backdoored everything we fucking did. They did the same thing in nuclear. What did they do? Oh, we don't go to the public commissions. We don't go there and just build a fucking plant now. We do it behind your fucking back. I can prove to you there is more than a thousand fucking plants. I used the number 252 in my lectures for years. Everybody says, oh, man, before you go crazy, hear me out. Before you say, oh, this fucking guy's a fucking lunatic. Oh, yeah? Oh, fucking yeah? We'll see what a fucking lunatic I have. Do not fucking doubt me. and Do not fucking doubt my fucking methods and my fucking ways. There is a method be There is total method behind my fucking madness and my fucking small army and every one of you know who you are. We are a new breed. We are a new breed. Yeah, did we come out into the open because of these YouTube cameras? Because of Fukushima? We were there. We were fucking there. They fucking have well over thousand. They did them secretly. They're on military base. They're called nuclear waste dumps. And you say, oh God, you're crazy. Oh really? Oh really? I can show you five of them right here in fucking Utah. There are well over a thousand. When they take fucking nuclear waste out of these fucking power plants and put it into Y-12 out here, fucking turn it into weapons grades material, put it on bases military, they just went underground. They kept building up this military military. The amount of plutonium, the amount of waste that has been fucking produced, fucking, oh God, they fucking suck. And you guys are sitting just pound by ya, patted yourselves on the fucking back, have another fucking, you fucking lost, I lost, we all fucking lost. And know this, fuckers, every fucking one of you fucking so-called anti-nuclear, know this, fuckers. I'm in the fucking club all the fucking way now, uh, just like Thomas Ackerman says. He fucking gets it. We, you can't just say what you have to want. You have to do the fucking work. He says to me that day, he says, I can obviously never understand what you're in. Oh, no. And I watched the fucking death of my father, the atomic veteran, so many of the people. I have AML. Do you know? The chances of the survival of what I have is so fucking low. If you had any clue what I've fucking been through in this fucking fight and watched all this fucking death in my face, Dad, it's so fucking heartbreaking you won't find another one die today. You don't even know how fucking heartbreaking it is. I've, I've watched this. It's been so fucking incredibly emotional to me. I was like this with Carla. She died at fair. Uh, my lifelong best friend, Paul, fucking died. In my, he's a perfect guy. I mean... Over and over and over and over, I've watched this. I've sat with him. I've fucking been in. I know this wolf's on my fucking neck. And I know it's a day by day. Live like I fucking live. You have no fucking clue. Fucking how I live. If the fucking artist can say, Kevin, it's back. Sorry, there's nothing we. I know that that fucking could come to me any day. Every fucking day. I know the odds are still against me. I know I'm in the fucking club. You fuckers just sit back and think you fucking won. And you done it. We haven't won shit. We fucking lost. This planet has been so nuclear fucking. And I will say this to the so-called Tim to Christopher's Megan. I love them both. I absolutely love them. I love them. But my movement, we don't go to fucking jail. We don't need to go to fucking jail. We don't break the fucking law. We don't fight with fucking cops or law enforcement. I'll tell you why. Because this is about post-ignorance. I will read this in slow motion. This is about fucking knowledge because we don't have to do any of that. We don't have to. We just need to expose the fucking lies and the corruptions. Which, look, Shane Russell, Tony, Patrick Henry. I can go on and on and on. We are hardcore investigating. You don't even know the hours that we put in fucking right. We dig this out in fucking detail. This is not French element hyperbole. Oh, fuck, we're off on La La fucking Alex Jones bullshit. Oh, no, we are very fucking contemporized and very fucking real. And no one will make a fucking fool out of me and nobody will make... Because we've done the fucking work. We do the fucking work! We do the work before I go on this fucking camera. Before I say these fucking things. 
We don't go out and beat a fucking drum and hope the media fucking shows. Every day they're so fucking over. We fucking lost. They are fucking annihilated. They're murdering and murdering. And you fucks and you old fucking actors, what the fuck are you doing? Patting yourselves on the fucking back. You ain't fucking done shit. We have fucking lost every 30 fucking years of loot. We have got our fucking asses kicked. When are you going to wake up? Just like a social equality, we let them sit in our job because they tricked us. They went underground. They fucking did it illegally, 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 illegally. All we need to is the fucking truth. And we're going to do my fucking march. And I'll tell you, what, you know, it's going to be watching. Very peaceful. Very loving. We want the co cops to participate. I even want the so-called media whores that have betrayed us. I want to talk to them because I think they it's just like the police. These police that bring in fucking tanks now and armor. I don't they don't buy the armor. They don't buy the thing. This is the political fucking apparatus. The voters you as eyes represent them. They've been tricked too. And so many of them know they've been tricked. Now we have the hairspray fake phony fuckers with an agenda. Fuck them. Fuck them. They are our fucking enemies. The so-called religious leaders who preach fucking war and hate from the pulpit who have nothing to do. They where are they? Where are they? They are a fucking enemy. They are the fucking Satan himself has infiltrated them. You fuckers, Patrick, I'm in this fucking war and I'll tell you what. Yeah, you got some victories in the 70s. We got some victories in the 70s. We got some victories all 82, but then we fucking lost. We've got our asses fucking kicked so fucking hard. I changed tactics in 99. I've been fighting this like a wolf. I went with the Justice Department. I'm the guy that exposed the fucking footage that you watch on the Atomic Veteran. I told that fucking tale. Oh, eh, you, want, you don't even know the fucking price I paid. I walked away from $800,000. Oh, people that know me, they're like, my uncle says it best. He says, i never seen anybody's life fucking torn apart at warp speed like that in my fucking life. Oh, boy. Capitulated with fucking leukemia. I laid in that fucking bed and I said, wow, all the activism, all the fucking fighting I fucking did. Everything that I gave up, and I'm going to die alone in this fucking hospital bed like fucking this. Well, God gave me a second fucking chance, whoever God is and whatever it is. But I got, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to fucking give up this fucking... We're going to fucking win. We're not going to get a little battle here and there and fucking kumbaya. Woohoo, yeah. Fuck, no. We're winning this fucking war. I, the whole fucking war. All of it. We're going to change the fucking world. We're going to heal this fucking planet. We're going to do it legally. Because that's all we knew. That's all we need. We're going to do it with the fucking truth. Underestimate me. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Oh, am I a lonely boy. Oh, am I a lonely boy. Send me off to fucking Bellevue. They'll be waiting there for their oxygen mask. Yeah, where the fuck are you, Bruce? Where the fuck are all of you fucking phony fuckers? Counting your fucking money, pouting yourselves on the back, why fucking? At least, at least a thousand people a day in the United States are dying from Fukushima. At least the, the ocean fucking, the greatest ecological catastrophe in the history of mankind. Where the fuck are you motherfuckers? We haven't won anything. Fuck every fucking one of you fuckers who pat yourself. Now, listen. I'm not talking to individuals. I'm talking to I know there's plenty of you fuckers like Carol Gallagher. Plenty of you who never stop fucking fighting. I love you guys. Don't you understand? This is about fucking love. This is the poetry of fucking anger. Change fucking tactics. Fight this with fucking knowledge. All we need, all we need is to fucking make fucking people, help people. Understand the fucking truth. What the cover-up of Fukushima, as Tony calls it, fucking plume gate. I call it the Pacific Genocide. Understand the fucking cartel, the DOE, the Department of Energy, the United States of General Electric, the United States of Wendy House. Understand this cartel. There should be fucking solar panels on every single fucking house. Every single. Why? Why do they? Because then there's no delivery system. They have no fucking control over fucking to rob and pillage and fucking rape in their fucking glass houses. The fucking technology's been there for 40 fucking years. Fucking please. We just need to fucking tell the truth. Stay in tune it.